my background is sort of chemical biology, so a little bit of a split between chemistry and biology. When I spoke with my supervisor and the program was just getting started, he sort of outlined some of the, the areas that they were wanting to touch on with genome science and technology and, and just sort of the technical aspect of it was really interesting because you really get to work with a lot of the really new technologies that uh, you might not get to if you stay in a really specified uh, field that's not as interdisciplinary, so that was definitely a huge benefit, I think. Well, it's funny. I, I think in science, a lot of the time, it's just being able to sit down and talk to somebody because that's what doesn't happen. You don't really know what's going on in other groups unless you go to a talk. Or, and even then, you don't usually get to really have an informal uh, discussion about things that could work and ideas of having the personal relationship already with people in the group and with Keith, other people in the program, um, because we're all in different areas and groups, even though we're in the same program, because it's so interdisciplinary, we really it sort of sets us off on the right foot, I think, to work together. Right now I'm working on a, a sort of side project with another postdoc in my lab, uh, trying to evolve an enzyme through directed evolution uh, and phage display. So you're actually uh, displaying this active enzyme on phage in order to screen thousands of variations of a single enzyme for new activity. We're looking for hot spots, basically, so uh, mutations occurring in that enzyme in, in sort of the same region, but if we see, see that again and again, we know that that's probably the one that we're looking for. It's a lot of uh, fun working on this project, especially because uh, I've learned a lot uh, starting out in this lab. This was the project that I've been working on sort of since the beginning. And I'm transferring over into the PhD program right now because I really love what I've been doing and I'm hoping to you know, finish my PhD here and uh, maybe do some work abroad.